Today, Friday, 26th, November 2021, in our Walking with Jesus, the topic says, Honor God. And it's my pleasure to walk you through there today. My name is Pastor Mimbe Monina of Citadel Christian Church. And our text says, it's taken from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 28 to 29. I read, Wherefore we receive a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear for our God is a consuming fire. Hallelujah. The first tenet of righteous character is to honor God. At first blush, this is obvious to Christians. The first tenet of righteous character is to honor God. Christians should naturally honor God. The real problem is that we may know God exists, but we often do not honor him as we should. Do we really put the first commandment first in our lives? So many Christians today will say the Ten Commandments is for Old Testament folks, but that is not true. The law of any nation today are built around those commandments. So if you tell me that uh, the Old Testament, the Ten Commandments is for Old Testament people, if you check all the laws of any nation, they are built based on those Ten Commandments. So if the nation where you live can still use the Ten Commandments, why you as a Christian want to abolish them? And Jesus said he did not come to abolish them. He just came to fulfill them. Praise the Lord. So why then should those who are supposed to be the custodian reject it? Do we have the fear of God that we should have? Do we fear his condemnation on us? More importantly, do we reverend and honor God? Is a question every Christian should ask. Do you reverend God the way you're supposed to fear God? First Samuel chapter 2, verse 1 to 3, then 6 to 10 says, Hannah gives praise and honor to God in a song. And she said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. There is none holy as the Lord. All of us sing that song. There is none holy as the Lord. All of us sing that song. It was Anna's song to honor God for what the Lord has done for her. Neither is there any rock like our God. Let not arrogance come out of your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Praise God. By the Lord, actions are we. The Lord kills and makes alive. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He raises up the poor out of the dust. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silenced in darkness. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. The Lord shall judge the end of the earth and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the own of his anointed. Glory to Jesus. We have to realize that Jesus is training us for a position in his kingdom. He's training us as Christians in position in his kingdom. We need to hold Jesus and the Father in a very high esteem. God has the ultimate power over us in our situation, in our lives. The knowledge should lead, this knowledge should lead everyone to honor God. Praise the Lord. Honoring God should be manifested in our worship service. There should be reverence when we come to worship. You know, I, I, I'm really sorry to say this, but I am a pastor that's never believed that the pulpit should be given to comedians to come and be cracking jokes. No matter the type of joke, I don't believe that. The pulpit should be a place to preach the gospel and honor God, not to crack jokes to make people laugh. So our worship should reverence God. Our mind should be on worshiping and giving honor to, to the one who has done so much for us. There should not be even a hint of strife or contention in our lives. 
our language should be of thanksgiving and praise to this being who holds our internal life in his own hands. When we live our life like this, honor God. Wake up in the morning, you know that it is the power of God that gives you the strength to wake up. Make money, you should acknowledge that it is God's gift that made you to, to come this far. When you honor God like this, you see that your life will move from glory to glory. And that is my prayer for you in Jesus' name. So before I leave you, I want us to take our prayers together. Say, dear Lord, please instruct me in righteousness so that I might know how to honor you in all I do in Jesus' name. Our further study is taken from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 16. And in our one-year reading plan, Colossians chapter 1 to 2. Until I come your way tomorrow, my name is Pastor Mebe. God bless you. <laughs>